Hey guys, Brittany here for a brand new video and this video is all about the Samsung Galaxy S8 specifically a video talking about some of the coolest features of the S8 so here are a few really interesting features of the Samsung Galaxy S8 first up let's talk about the display the S8 has an infinity display it covers beautifully around the edges has no bezel on the sides and a very slim minimal bezel at the top and bottom on both the Galaxy S8's 5.8 inch and 6.2 inch models the device has an 18.5 by 9 aspect ratio this is partly because of Samsung's overall hardware design which combines an edge-to-edge -edge infinity display with reduced bezel and rounded corners to maximize screen size over what is otherwise pretty familiar real estate. This is so the phone doesn't appear that much larger in your hand but the screen absolutely looks and feels as if it's been supersized. Next up I want to talk about the S8. 10 nanometer processor. The chip built using the 10 nanometer process inside is a technological marvel. In simple terms, it means Samsung can pack in way more power into a chip that's much smaller than previous ones, improving performance and efficiency without using more space. The Exynos 9 series 8895 is already in mass production, and Samsung expects the chip to be designed into smartphones, VR headsets, and also automotive infotainment systems. The new processor chipset is the first from Samsung to use a 10 nanometer process technology that delivers up to 27% higher performance while consuming 40% less power when compared to the earlier 40 nanometer technology. Next, I want to mention the fact that the Samsung Galaxy S8 is the first phone to ever have Bluetooth 5.0. The new standard release for use back in December promises quadrupled range compared to Bluetooth 4.2. That means the Galaxy S8 can be up to 800 feet away from compatible headphones, speakers and fitness trackers while maintaining connectivity. Bluetooth 5.0 also promises twice the data transfer speed of the previous version. However, perhaps most excitingly, Bluetooth 5.0 has enough bandwidth to support two sets of wireless devices at the same time. This could mean speakers in different rooms or the ability to support two sets of headphones. It's faster, has longer range and can transfer more information. Moving on, another cool feature of the Samsung Galaxy S8 is DeX. While this is not directly part of the S8, it does add a somewhat cool feature to the S8. DeX is a really cool, clever contraption that is in essence a dock that plugs into a desktop monitor, transforming your Galaxy S8 into a computer. It has enough physical ports to connect almost anything including hardline internet and you can connect a wireless keyboard and mouse for that realistic computer feel. Obviously though, it still runs the Android system but on a bigger screen. So anything that would happen on a normal Android system would in fact happen when using the DeX dock. Next up, let's talk about Bixby, something that people have been talking about a lot recently, both in terms of love and hate. Some are okay with the idea of Samsung's new virtual assistant and some are against it. The good thing though is that you can actually remap Bixby on the Samsung Galaxy S8. You can change what the button does. Bixby has a dedicated button on the left of the phone and is contextually aware and understands natural language. Samsung says that almost anything you can do by touch on the phone can be done by voice control using Bixby. Now here is another cool feature that I won't really talk about very long. You can dig into the navigation menu to skip the lock screen when you press the home button while the screen is off. So things are made quite easier whenever you want to turn your phone on, although you need to actually turn the setting on. Another cool feature is that you can easily change the color of the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen. Now let's talk about the cool specs of the S8. First off, the invisible home button. Samsung is really pushing the boundaries of what's possible in a smartphone and nowhere is that more evident than in the home button solution. With the screen taking up more space, the physical home button had to go somewhere else. Instead of getting rid of the home button completely, Samsung built in a special sensor beneath the display that gives a vibrating response that's so subtle it feels like pressing a button. It's perfectly placed and works great. The Super AMOLED Capacitive Touchscreen also comes with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection. The S8 has an iris scanner, a fingerprint reader on the back, which may be a bit difficult to get used to using, an accelerometer, proximity sensor, compass, barometer, and heartbeat monitor, which all may not be that special and unique, but these are still some really cool features. And that's where I end today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, comment below, and subscribe for more cool videos every single week. Feel free to check out my previous video on the Galaxy S8 using the links provided below and also check out my tech merch spreadsheet shop using the link provided below. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video.